So with the basket instead of the box, the big problem is how do I secure my gear? So right up here, in this basket, the half that's towards us, I want to put a Pelican case. Lighting's really bad. I want to put a Pelican case or something that I can bolt directly to the basket and that opens up and that I can lock and secure. And that will go here. Meanwhile, on the front end, we'll treat it like a regular basket. I'm talking about like this area, we'll treat it like a regular basket where you have the cargo netting and whatever other materials that you would be putting on there. I'm on my way to check out a few Pelican cases and uh, see if I can get all this gear to fit it. As a kayaker, I did not want to have all my wet gear be inside the toaster. So I knew I needed boxes and after experimenting with some cheap Walmart ones, I realized I needed something of higher quality. Furthermore, I needed to pack my entire life into one vehicle. It was time to downsize. I've got two kayaks in here. It's the Prozone and the Rockstar. I'm trading these with Pete for a Jackson Rocker. And the reason I'm trading these is because I have too many boats and I can't bring eight, eight, eight. <laughs> I can't bring eight kayaks with me on this trip. I'm gonna have to cut it down to probably one. That rocker will be used to teach people how to roll right here at the Haw River Canoe and Kayak Company. This is where I learned to roll and this is where I got my start in whitewater. So hopefully with that rocker, somebody else can also learn to roll and get started in this beautiful sport. I just bought all the hardware that I think I'll need to mount the box on the roof. And now I'm going to pick up the actual box itself. I'm not sure what size will be best. So I'm meeting with like this lady that sells a bunch of boxes, I guess. But we'll put it on the roof, we'll see what works. And then once that's done, I'll go ahead and get it mounted this afternoon. I did end up buying that box, did not record it because I felt like that was really weird. But we have the box now. We're headed to Pete's house now. Gonna give him these two boats. We're also gonna get that box installed on the roof while we're at it. I'm all excited because once that's done, it's just one more step towards being done with this thing. And the window of time is closing fast. Once I arrived at Pete's place, we did the whole boat swap. I also got some camping gear. And then we focused on how to get this box mounted. First, I had to get all the old foam out since it was just gonna be in the way. We've got all the foam out, but there's this sticky, it's not really a sticky. There's a glue residue left over. We'll have to clean that up. Okay, so we tried rubbing alcohol. We tried ammonia. Nothing's taking this off, but sandpaper will. You can just scrape it off. So we're gonna take the sander to it and just sand everything clean so it's nice and shiny and not gross looking for my gear. It's coming off now. All right, folks, I got a pretty good plastic tub here, but we're talking about Jerry's gear, and I just don't want to take any chances on some harsh edges. So I've got some 80 grit sandpaper, and I'm just gonna make sure the plastic is smooth. My gear is always pristine. Like, there's never anything on my gear that's at all any bit of rough, you know? Perfect gear. With an orbital sander, I was able to take all this stuff off pretty quick. I just really did not want to have this gross glue residue all over my gear. Got her cleaned up, mostly. There's still a little bit of yellow, but I mean, it's good enough. It's, I'm literally about to drill holes in this and, and put wet gear in it, so like, it doesn't have to be perfect. We then drilled some drain holes in it as I'd be putting wet gear in this all the time. I would end up later drilling even more holes in it, but for now, this is what we had. And then from there, we put it on the roof. Okay. 
We used some U-bolts and spacers to secure the box to the roof basket itself. That way, if somebody wanted to steal this box, they would literally have to rip the box off the basket. Unfortunately, the U-bolts were just a little too long, so we had to do a little bit of cutting. And so with the combined power of our teamwork, we were able to get this box bolted down. Since I don't have anywhere to really hang my wet gear anymore, having this box where my gear can drain and vent is a lifesaver. I kayak a lot, over a hundred days a year I'm on the water, and so my gear never really gets a chance to fully dry. So having a place where it can be secured just brings so much ease of mind. I mean, it's not. Yeah, the whole car is shaking. Yeah. yeah. Got a lock for it. I've got a lock at home. That'll go oh, right yeah. there. And now nobody can steal my stuff. Well, I guess they could steal whatever's up front. And there we go. Box is secured. Thanks to Pete. Yeah. Woo -hoo. <laughs> so now I got a place to put all my things. They won't get stolen unless somebody takes the whole box or cuts through it, but don't do that. That's for losers. Don't be a loser. After so many days of messing with this roof rack, I felt like it was finally close to complete. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I was about to say, say I was about to say something. Oh, me too. <laughs> what were you gonna say? <laughs>